Today I'm out on Rainbow River. I rented a canoe from Rainbow Springs State Park. We're going down the river. I'm gonna try and find a good place to jump in and snorkel around and see what's down in this river. All right, I'm here in the water at Rainbow River. The water's crystal clear, it's 72 degrees, so it's a little bit cool for Florida standards. But we're gonna get down there, see what we can find. I hear there's really big gar in the river here. I see turtles everywhere. There's largemouth bass, and there could even be some alligators here and there. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna get out there and check it out. In the water now, the first thing I see are three scuba divers down deep. Rainbow River is a popular place for scuba diving because the water is so clear and the river is deep in some places. I'm dropping down on my first dive here and you can see there's all this eel grass along the river here and there's some huge trees that have fallen down. There is a forest on the edge of the river. There are oaks in there, there are cypress trees. And you can see I'm getting down deep now. Look at the canoe way in the back. The water is just so clear even when you're down deep and you can see more live oaks in the bottom here take a look at my watch i'm down at 22 feet already and down deep here there are some rock structures down here now i'm not exactly sure what type of rocks these are but there used to be a lot of phosphate rock mining in the area so those could be phosphate rocks and if you go along here and you look alongside the rocks you can find some little caves and little crevices like this here and there's actually spring water flowing out of there so i can feel the water flowing out of there there's some little fish swimming around here, some bass. And that's what makes this water so crystal clear like this here. There's actually 400 million gallons of water that flows through here every day. I'm dropping down deep again in the river and check this out here. This is actually fresh water flowing straight out of the ground. They call this a sand boil. I can stick my arm into it and feel the passageways where the water's flowing out of. So there's a whole bunch of these little sand boils along the river where fresh water is just continuously flowing out of. And when you get near these sand boils, I actually feel a temperature change. So the water coming out of this sand boil is a few degrees warmer than the river water for some reason. I don't know why, but that's pretty interesting. I'm gonna come up here and take a quick breath and I'm gonna grab the canoe and we're gonna keep moving along the river here and see what else we can find. Now you can see these grass flats here. This is all this eel grass in different pockets all over the river and it's a good place for fish to hide out. Look at these here, these are gar here, alligator gar. So these are predatory fish that live in the river and these alligator gar can actually get pretty long. They can get up to like four or five feet long, I believe. Uh, so these are some smaller ones here, but they're, they're pretty interesting looking fish. They have that long nose on them, and leopard spots on them. And you can see the current can get moving along here in some spots as it gets shallower, the current moves along this eel grass. And then the eelgrass opens up to more sand flats and some more rock structure. So let's drop down, take a look at this rock structure again. And again, I'm not sure what this is, but they're, they did used to do phosphate rock mining in the river, so that could be phosphate rock. And there's some little fish around here, nothing too big yet, no alligators yet. That's what I really hope to see. So move along here, you can see, oh, there's a cool palm tree sunk down in the water. Here's, looks like an Part of a cypress tree down in the water so there's a lot of wood down in the water and you got to be careful around some of this here because some of it there's some branches and some overheads sticking out so as you're swimming through you really do need to be careful and look there's some really big logs that have been down in the water for a while here and this log here you look at these these branches actually have some of this hydrilla weed growing off of it this hydrilla is an invasive aquatic plant in the river and they're having a big problem with it because it's not supposed to be there and it spreads pretty rapidly now you can see from the air the different ecology in the river, some green plants, uh, red plants, there's the white bottom, and that's what gives it the multicolored rainbow look, hence the name Rainbow River. But it's so beautiful and the water is so clear. So as we were canoeing down the river, we saw this little creek on the side of the river. It's really shallow here, about knee deep crystal clear water coming out of it, so it must be spring fed, and it goes up into the woods. So I'm gonna explore down this creek and see if I can find the spring that feeds this creek. Our 
eyes will be on our way The night was long as I waited without a sign A sign of what matters Matters to you But what do you want? Well, this little creek is a, a very beautiful creek. I never did find the end of it. The passageway was kind of blocked by gate. Maybe it goes on a private property or something. So anyway, I'm gonna head back out to the canoe and get back out to the river. All right, so that's Rainbow Springs and Rainbow River. I hope you enjoyed this trip and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and please consider subscribing to the channel for more great underwater content. Thanks again. Now get out there and explore. I've been in